Hi, welcome to my channel, Josh Gordon Music. This is the Line 6 PodGo video. In this video, we're going to look at um, amplifier settings, like just the basics. So in this video, we're going to use a, a Brit Plexi Norm. And because I find this amp just has the simplest of controls, like the, um, there are common, a lot of common amp settings, you know, such as like the master, channel volume, drive, and then you have, you know, the, 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 uh, the ones that are near, usually near the bottom of the amp, like the, the sag, the hum, the ripple, the bias, bias X. Now there are other amps in here that have other parameter values. Um, let's say the, like the placator dirty, like, in, you know, that has like the, uh, the HBE, the fat saturation. Uh, I believe there's also a C45. Great. That's a great amp anyways, a, a favorite of many, but you're not going to find out what those things do in the, in the manual. In the, in the PodGo menu itself, it just really has common amp settings, which are master, sag, hum, ripple, bias, and bias X. So we'll, we'll cover those, but you can read about those and what they do in the manual as well. So what I recommend is when you're picking an amp, um, whatever's not covered in the manual, like things like, you know, like those other special things, like I said, with like the, uh, the, um, the placate or dirty, like those saturation or the fat or the HBE, and then, you know, whatever other amps have other little features like that. What you, I would recommend you do is go find the real amp online, go to the manufacturer's site, find that amp and see what those controls do. All right. And find out what they do and then play around with them. And that's what we're going to do here. We're just going to take this plexi, the straight plexi, and we're going to see the differences in the parameter values. So this is what I've queued up here is a, like I said, a Brit Plexi norm. And I've put everything at five just for, you know, I guess somewhat a neutral uh, sound. So this is how it sounds with it's, it's dry. And oh, and the cab, let's see the cab here. Yeah, Greenback uh, 412, Greenback 25, my favorite cab. And I think it sounds good with a Marshall, any Marshall amp in here. All right, and, oh, and just on the Greenback itself, again, I left it stock. I haven't touched anything because it's not really about the sound per se, the tone um, or the cab, it's more, we're looking at the amp settings and what they what they do. Okay, so let's just hear this dry. Okay, pretty mellow, pretty bland and boring, but you know, we're not here to craft a preset, but let's play around with it. So let's get started. So, you know, the first one you usually see, the first parameter for going top to bottom is drive. So I think the drive is self-explanatory, you know, with the amount of overdrive distortion that the amp has. Now, if you're building a preset, that where you want some clean, like you want to you want to do a snapshot, or or if you want to do a foot control or a foot switch assignment, this plexi can get nice and clean. I think the the uh, the Mesa Boogie ones are pretty good as well. I get it going from some good dirt to some clean. So, but you know, start in the middle. All right. So if we, if, I generally find with a lot of the parameters, like with with the pedals and with the amps. There's kind of like, for me, it's like three main areas. It's like, you know, when you go from zero to, sorry, let's say about, um, I don't know, let's call it two. We'll do 1.9. I know that's very hard to hear, but we'll fix that. Pretty clean. If we kick it up here, three and a, 3.3, a little more at five, it's like, Use your ears, you know, like there's, you know, clean around here, a little more dirtier here, even more here. And then, you know, we go up to here. I don't know why it's doing that. A little more dirt. Now you're really getting into the dirt. But I mean, fine tuning it between like eight, eight point two or, oh no, I'm going to knock it down to 7.9. Not much of a difference. So use a good tip is use the sliders just keep just slide it around you know slide this around and just go it's it's like you're turning a knob on the amp just kind of treat it like that you know and just and, and, and until you get something you like but okay so the drive obviously the amount of drive i don't think i need to explain bass mid and treble presence you know those are your eq tone shaping things and again, slide around, drop the bass, or let's 
pump it up. All right, so I mean, sorry about that there. Um, so those are self-explanatory. So now, if you want to dial in, let's say you're looking for the clean. Okay, let's 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 look at some tones now. So I have it at one, and it obviously was very hard to hear. So it's very non-existent. So let's put it at let's say. 2.1 okay nice and clean and say you're gonna you want this for your clean and a dirt like I said earlier in like a snapshot well then when you start getting into the the channel volume and the master now channel volume all it is is just increasing the whole volume of this preset master will increase volume but it also increase the amps distortion so you're gonna have to be careful with that because while you you know you, you get a nice you, you turn the drive down and you get a nice clean if you have the master too high up now we'll see how it goes here let's say I put it to 10 well now it's not so clean anymore it's still pretty good but it's still like if you wanted it a little more crystal clean I'd bring it down like to here and then what you do, bring up your channel volume. And let's, here, I'll kick on the reverb because I like reverb. Okay. And that sounds pretty good. And then if you want to fine tune it, then that's where you can play with your bass, mid, and treble, and your presence. And the same thing when you're doing a drive. And we'll 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 kick we'll dial in a, a drive tone as well. But if I was going to do a preset, like I said, with a clean and a dirt, whether it's two snapshots or I want to just assign a foot switch to switch between a clean and a dirt channel, this is what I would do. So I would have this set here, and then you know you would bring up your you can bring up your controller settings here, pick a foot switch, and then you would set your little parameters. Um, Whereas like you could have it set here and then if you hit a switch, then you would probably want to drop your channel volume, maybe increase your master a bit, definitely increase your drive and then you would get your dirt. So um, I could do a more in-depth video on that in, in the future, but we're here just to look at the, what these sliders do. Okay, so that's what I would do. And if I put it back to the mid, now let's say I want a crunchy channel. So, so if I would, I, I would up the master a little bit and maybe up that, the channel volume a little bit. Now you hear how that, that increased the volume, right? It's so like the drive, the drive doesn't increase the volume. It just got, made the amp dirtier. But these two, the channel volume is definitely going to increase the overall output of this preset. But the master will kick up, you know, it's like the, ma the master is like, it adjusts the you know the amps output level, but it also the the you know the the more that you increase the master, the the more push and the more dirt that you're going to get, the more breakup. So you got to be careful of that. But I kind of like that sound. And then in an instance like this, I like to add a drive. As, as if you if you follow my channel, you'll know I like to I I really like the amp to do a lot of the work for the drives. But some some amps. I don't like the drive on its own. Like a, pl a placator, we'll go back to that. A placator dirty, you don't need a pedal. Like that thing is fantastic with the drive. The trouble is to try and use that and get a clean sound, it's kind of tough. So that's why I would probably, if I if I was just wanted a lead patch, like with a you know British style rock, I would go with a placator. But for this one, I would use I use the plexi. So let's get let's kick on this. Uh, Tube Screamer, if I can. <laughs> there we go. My mouse isn't responding. I'll add a reverb. Maybe add a little more drive. 
that's not too bad. I would even up the master a little bit to get, again, a little more. Sorry about that. My mouse is just doing wacky stuff. If we want some real crunch here, let's let's add this here. And then if I want to do some tone shaping. Oh. You want to get rid of that that hum. Let's let's put the uh there we go. Doesn't that sound better? Let's put the, we put the noise gate on. Um, so here's where I would up some mid, maybe a little presence, maybe a little treble. I would actually turn the bass down a bit to cut some of the mud. So I hope this is being, you know, being useful to you so far. Um, I know it's kind of, it's not the, your, your official step-by-step -step tutorial. It's not really, we're here to build a preset. It's more to play around with the, with the settings on the amp. So you know what, you know what these parameters do. So, so that, you know, again, slide it around to your taste, use your ears. Don't worry. And don't worry so much about these numbers. I mean, it's not a drastic change. Like I said, from each increment, like 3.4 on the bass. Sorry, turn the volume down. Okay, 3.4 on the bass, let's do 3.3. Okay, you don't hear anything. So slide it, slide around, okay, right? Sorry guys about that. Slide it, slide it around, okay? So just, again, pretend it's a dial on the amp. Now, if you're wondering about the sag, the hum, the ripple, now again, this is in the manual. So I actually, I have it on my iPad here. We'll just quickly go over what it says. Okay, so the sag. So the sag is, um, maybe it's like a compressor or of some sort, but it says, you know, if you lower the sag, you get a tighter response for like metal performances. So, and if you increase the sag, I guess it's more, should I use the word organic for like blues and rock? So sag, let's, let's drop it. Not much of a sonic difference, but I, I, I kind of felt a little different. Like me, sometimes I drop the sag lately, but in the past I would up it a bit. But to be honest, um, I find up here is, is where I notice more of a sound difference than down here. But that doesn't mean don't play with these parameters. So hum, hum and ripple, they control how much heater hum and AC ripple interacts with your tone. So at higher settings, it says things get freaky. So I guess that means, you know, it's like your amp is really cooking and pushing and heating up. So let's, let's put them up. Actually, sorry, first let's play. Okay, now let's, let's crank them. So again, I don't hear much difference. And then we get to the biases, right? So the bias changes the bias of the power tubes. It says lower values achieve a colder class A being, and then if you put it up, it's at more class A. So let's put this down. Uh, sorry, guys. And then let's put it up. Okay, there I noticed the difference. So a little more life. So, and that's what I usually do. I usually, I usually have just for my ears here, I like the bias around somewhere between like six and seven and a half. So I like that. Bias X, so it determines how the power amp tube voicing reacts when pushed hard. So let's put this up. And if I crank this. So I definitely, it compressed, and that's what it says. If you set it higher for more tube compression, and I like that, actually. I think it sounded pretty good. It 
So you see, we lowered it just there and volume kind of came up. So play around with that. And I think, you know what? I'm going to be playing around with that a little more too. So see, even I learned something when I do, <laughs> I'm still learning. I learn something when I do these videos. God, I'm sorry, I keep, that menu keeps popping up on me. So I am, I am trying to click with a pick. So, nah, you know, I must be hitting something. Anyways, I digress. So I'm going to leave it at that right now. I, I hope this little kind of walkthrough of, of basic parameters has, has been helpful to some of you out there. You know, the, the, the pros out there, the guys who knows have been spent a lot of time with this unit. They'll know all this. But that is my my take and my advice on, on basic amp settings, all right? Like just a good starting point is maybe putting everything at five or in the midway point, okay? And then again, slide it up and down. Like some amps, but you can't really clean up too much if you're looking for a clean preset or a clean option with your preset. Um, but also, but just remember, the, the, I think the, the takeaway I would like to give you is, you know, the drive, the channel volume, and the master are, are, are really, the for me, the big ones that are going to really shape the foundation of the sound. I mean, the, this is, you know, the EQ here, bass, mid, trebles, the fine-tuning, the presence, and then even further fine-tuning for sound is like the, the, these last five, you know, the sag, hum, ripple, bias, and bias X. Excuse me. And, and then again, some amps will have other parameters on here. Go to the manufacturer's website, check them out, see what they do, and then see, and then play with them again. But for the basis of, of, of your of getting, you know, your tone started, your preset started, focus on the drive, the channel volume, and the master. More so, like the channel volume, maybe worry about that last. Like play around, like the master and the drive work, you know, they work hand in hand to me, you know. Um, so that's it, right? Okay. So hopefully this is, like I said, hopefully it's been helpful. Hopefully I haven't ra been rambling too much. Um, I appreciate all of you who have come this far. If you made it this far to, the, uh, to this point in the video, God, you know, thank God. <laughs> I didn't think I would make it this far. Anyways, appreciate it, guys. I uh, appreciate all the views. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Helps the channel. I appreciate all the returning viewers, all the subscribers. Uh, new viewers, thanks for stopping by and, and checking out this video. And if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, if you are a subscriber or a new subscriber, consider re uh, selecting the notification bell so that you'll be notified when the next video comes out. All right. So again, hope this has been helpful. Uh, drop a comment below if uh, you have any ideas for for more videos of this nature, if, so, if this is something that you'd like to see more of. Um, I do have some more presets coming in my head. Um, so we'll go from there. All right, until then, take care. Be good to each other and let's make some good music. Okay, bye.